doing some movie reviews again. I saw Devil today, the new M. Night Shyamalan film. Now let me just get this out of the way. I did not see The Happening. I did not see The Last Airbender. And the only things I hear about that movie are terrible, terrible things. So I'm not biased in any way, really, toward M. Night Shyamalan. Um, I liked, I loved Unbreakable and The Sixth Sense, obviously, and I like Signs as well. Uh, I even liked Lady in the Water, which I might have just thrown all my movie review uh, credit right out the window with that one. But you know, when I when I talk about movies and if I like them or not, and if I think they're great or not, it's really not if I think that they're a technological masterpiece or if they, you know, are, if they're Oscar award winning or anything like that. Uh, it's really just if it entertains me. I mean, if I'm entertained by a movie throughout, I'll love it. Like, I'll just pull one for example, like, Kung Pao, Enter the Fist. Like, that movie's not going to win an Oscar award. It's not going to, you know, be heralded as one of the best movies of all time. But, man, that movie was entertaining. And I loved it. I loved... And I think that's... That's kind of why, I guess, I enjoy so many movies. is Because I'm not looking for something great and totally amazing. I'm just looking for something entertaining. I don't know. I guess I'm just easy to please in that regard. But anyway, let's get to the point. <sighs> Devil. It's kind of... Hmm. Alright, let me just say this right now. I liked it. I liked this movie. This one... This one was worth seeing at the show, for me. Um, and let me put it out there, too, that I'm movies like Panic Room and Phone Booth, I like those kind of movies, especially Phone Booth. Phone Booth, every time it's on TV, I gotta watch it. Because, for some reason, that movie is really, really entertaining to me. And I don't know why. And I don't know why, like, the, the one setting movies appeal to me for some reason a lot of them do and I'm trying to think of other ones I've seen Secret Window I guess was one 1408 maybe uh, I like Secret Window 1408 and well it's been a while since I saw it I guess I shouldn't bring it up if I can't even remember too much of it but the I, I know there's a lot of people who don't like the the one setting movies or you know if it only takes place in a one room but I don't know I find those movies kind of interesting it, I guess I guess why I find those ones particularly interesting is because it's mainly story driven and dialogue driven and as with Devil, that's what it was. It was completely driven by the dialogue and the story. So if you don't like those kind of movies, you know, you probably won't like this one. But, yeah, this movie was... It was definitely entertaining for me. And I... I know a lot of people are going to go into this. And even if they, you know, if they hate the happening, if they hate hated The Last Airbender, and if they just hate M. Night in general, you, can, you, can't, you can't go into this movie with a bad attitude. Put it that way. You can't... If you want to like this movie, you can't be like, oh, I don't know why I'm going to see this movie. It's going to suck, but I'm going to see it anyway. Or, you know, I hate M. Night Shyamalan. I'm just seeing this movie just to see how stupid it is, and and uh, you it's it's going to be hard for you to like this movie um you 
and, and maybe not, but y- you you got to go into it with an open mind. And I admit, when I saw the trailer for this movie, I, I was just like, you've got to be kidding me. Another one, another M. Night film, really? And it only takes place in an elevator? Come on. Pass. And it's one of those movies where, you know, it's one of those movies where you 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 see the commercial with your friends or something and they're all like, oh, that movie's going to suck. I hate that. I hate that guy. And, oh, this isn't going to be any good. And, you know, you kind of all talk amongst your friends and agree that it's going to be horrible. But at the same time, it might be one of those movies where you, you know, you talk with your friends and say it's going to be horrible, but in the back of your mind, you're like, I don't know, I, I that might be pretty good. That might be a movie I like. I kind of want to see it, but you don't say that in front of your friends. You know, you don't want to get scrutinized for wanting to see, you know, something that may that may not look very interesting to them. I don't know. So where am I going with this? Well, for one, I I don't want to give too much of it away. Um, I think it's worth seeing at the show. I do. Uh, the, it's funny because I was looking at the show time before I saw it, before I went and saw it and saw that it was only an an hour and twenty minutes long, and it's like there's, you know, there's not even. Most animated movies now are longer than an hour and a half at least. <laughs> you know, so... But... In a lot of ways, and especially with this movie, it works. The The shortened amount of time works. Because everything is condensed. There's no... There's not a lot of filler like a lot of movies have. And I can't... It's hard for me to stand movies with filler it's just too frustrating to watch it's just like get to the point come on but this movie gets to the point and I like that <laughs> and I think the the amount of time the movie was it was it was worth it it was even though it was a short movie you know you're not gonna get your you <laughs> You get your money's worth. That's put it that way. Um, for you know, for a two and a half hour movie, yeah, you're gonna get your money's worth based on the time. But on everything else, on entertainment value, it's really hard. Uh, Inception nailed that one. Let me put it right there. Um, what else? Without giving much of it away, I will say. The unfortunate thing for the for for me for this movie is the ending. The ending got an old roll of the eyes for me. Unfortunately, so if you're a fan of M Night's twist endings, you and uh, I don't know. I just found it to be really kind of cheesy. I don't want to say it was a cop out necessarily. And the truth is I didn't expect it, what happened in the end. But at the same time, it was just like, really? That's what you got? And it it just ended weird for me. Um, but everything came full circle. There were no, like... <laughs> I'm looking back and I'm trying to find a loophole in the movie and I couldn't there was no loopholes for me. Um maybe I wasn't paying attention, I don't know. But I definitely wanted this to be a good movie. I didn't go into it with a bad attitude. I was actually thinking it was going to be terrible and I was like, "Wow, why am I getting my hopes up for this?" You know, this I know this is going to be or this is probably going to be terrible, so why am I getting my hopes up? But I was hoping it for it to be good. I was, you know, I was hoping for an entertaining movie, a movie that 
kept me interested throughout the movie, and that's what it did. And it's hard for me not to like a movie that does that. Um, I thought the acting was pretty good. Uh, if I might, if I, I'm not really going to critique stupid stuff like that. I don't critique the original score of the movie and the the acting. If the acting is really terrible, it's I'll just mention it. But if the acting is good and okay, I'm not gonna you know really get into that much. Uh, the characters were interesting. Um, obviously, with only five. Of them being in an elevator, uh, I mean, it we got to see a lot of the characters and what they, you know, had hiding within their within themselves, you know, so to speak. Uh, as far as the the main the bulk of the movie, uh, well, it opens with I'm pretty sure it's M Night himself. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but from it it I'm pretty sure it's M Night that talks about open it, the movie opens up with him talking about a story from his past that his mother told him and you know it's obviously got some religious undertones in this movie there's no doubt about it that if it's called Devil it's going to have some religious undertones um but it basically starts off with him Talking about a story about one day the devil will come for so, 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 yada, yada, yada. <laughs> and and that's how it starts off. And it doesn't take long to get right into it. I mean, the, the whole everybody in the elevators starts within the first five minutes after the credits roll. So, I mean, it gets right into the movie. It cuts right to the point. And after that, the dialogue just kind of takes it away. I mean, the main plot is them trying to get out of the elevator, and then they eventually, you know, discover that one of them is not who they say they are and may possibly be a killer. And and the cops basically show up and try to figure out, you know, who done it. That's mainly the plot of the movie, and without giving the ending away, which wasn't that special for me, um, I can't think of anything else to add other than I, it was worth seeing at the show for me. Um, if you're not a fan of M Night, don't see it. <laughs> Put it that way. If you're, if you, you know, if. If you like, you know, I, I'd put it right up there with signs, and I like signs a lot. And yes, the whole thing with the aliens was, people who saw it know what I'm talking about. The whole thing with the aliens and that is kind of stupid, yes. But still, it's the ride along the way that makes up for most of it, and that's what this movie was. It's It was the ride, it was the journey from the start of the movie all the way through and you know say you take a roller coaster and it starts off good maybe it gets a little bumpy at the end do you like the ride i don't know it was good throughout is the little bump at the end going to ruin it for you no it shouldn't unless that bump takes you out of your seat but all right that's all i got just don't go into this movie. If you if you go to see this movie, don't go into it with a bad attitude going, oh, this movie's going to suck. I thought it was really good, and maybe some of you share the same opinion, and maybe you, some of you won't, and that's fine. Um, have a good day, everyone, and uh, tomorrow I'm seeing The Town, so I'm probably going to do a review on that tomorrow. Uh, thank you for listening, and see you next time.